Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm speaking about five habits that will change your life. The first one is, guys, the night before you go to sleep, please stop putting your phone in your room. If you have to invest in an alarm clock that is completely separate to your phone, please do that. There is nothing worse than going to sleep and the last thing you see is negative news or a negative post. There are a lot of people who are negative online. So imagine the programming that you're doing like before the night before you go to sleep. If you see someone dissing someone else on Twitter or you see someone body shaming another woman on Instagram, if you go to sleep and that's the last thing you saw today, imagine how you wake up the next day. And speaking of the next day, before you even step out of the bed, you need to decide what kind of day are you having. You need to be conscious of the kind of day that you want to attract to yourself. You need to decide, literally decide that no matter what happens today, I am having a great day. This is what I'm going to accomplish. This is how I'm going to feel at the end of the day, no matter what happens, no matter what news you get, no matter who says what on WhatsApp, no matter what is going on globally, you are having a great day. <laughs> Decide and be intentional about the day that you're gonna have. You cannot keep living, letting other people, circumstances decide how your life is gonna be. We have so many cases of depression and mental health in our generation. And that's because for so many years, we let social media, CNN, Sky News, whoever tell us, Oh, on this part of the world, there's a tsunami. Now you're upset about the tsunami, but you're landlocked. Guys, let's control our days by being intentional. The second thing I do is I eat when I'm hungry. I don't eat because it is breakfast time or lunch time or dinner time. My body doesn't even know what those words mean. My body only knows hi. We're hungry I think about it do you think your stomach knows when it's like 11 and then it's like oh I should be having brunch if it was a weekend we'd be having brunch but because it's a weekday <laughs> we're not having brunch it doesn't work like that so start listening to your body like listen to the cues are you hungry or are you eating because you've been told that you should eat three times a day what if that's not enough what if it's too much you know and also just listen to the cues from your body in terms of what are you really craving and I don't mean craving in terms of I'm craving McDonald's I mean listen to your body for the cues are you craving red meat if so do you have a B12 deficiency do you feel like you're lacking brain power do you need omega-3s go and eat some chia seeds you know listen the body speaks you just have to have a moment and listen don't believe that anybody knows your body better than you do the third thing I do I only respond to texts messages emails when my energy is right if I'm having you know a bad day or a bad moment you know we don't have bad days no more if I'm having a bad moment, I will wait till I'm in higher spirits to speak to you because I only want to share my best version of myself with the world. And it's not about the person misinterpreting my tone or my words. It's literally an energetic exchange when you speak to a person. It's not about the way I said hello on WhatsApp, like the way I typed it. It's literally about what was my headspace when I replied to you? People can feel it, even though you think it's just a text. People can feel it. The fourth thing I do is to make sure I move my body at least once a day. Whether that is to stretch, to do yoga, to go for a walk, I mean, to go for a run. Okay, to, I don't run, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, just feel alive. You need to feel alive you need to make a mind body connection that hello we're still here we're still pumping you know there's nothing more satisfying than doing something that you couldn't do in your body like a week ago 
challenge your body, challenge your mind. But not only that, the moment where you take to exercise or to take care of your body, even if you're not moving your body on a daily basis, at least still your mind on a daily basis. So that means, you know, taking time alone. If you live with someone, just have a moment by yourself, you know, each day. Reflect what's going on in your mind. How are you feeling? Get to know yourself. I'm sure you know your friends, you know your family, but do you know you? Do you know your patterns? Do you know your negative patterns? Do you know your positive patterns? Is there anything you need to change in your character? Is there anything that's not serving you? Is there any behavioral trait that you want to change? If there is, start researching how you can change it. Is it people pleasing? Is it codependency? Do you block people without speaking to them? Think, like take time to think and not in a bad way. Don't bash yourself. We're all on this earth to learn. We're here, you know, our souls are on a journey to learn. I can't tell you what the end result is, but don't bash yourself in these moments of reflection. See how far you've come. Like think about five years ago. Five years ago, you were earning the equivalent of a dollar an hour. Think about now, how much are you earning in comparison? Think about where you used to live five years ago. Where are you living now? Think about the things you could afford five years ago. Is it not so that you can afford even more now? Even if it's a percentage more, is your life not improving? It is, right? Take a moment just to be grateful. What do you have? Do you have a bed to sleep on? Is your pillow soft? When you wake up in the morning, do you have food in the house? All of these things, like it makes so much of a difference to your mental health makes so much of a difference to even your future. The things you are grateful for now will be multiplied a year from now. The fifth thing, make everything you do in life a ritual. When you make tea for yourself, take your time. It's not about turning on the kettle, putting the tea bag in and drinking the tea. Guys, tea is the most soothing thing. It warms your body from the inside. You are nourishing yourself, whether you're drinking rooibos, green tea, herbal tea, whatever it is, tea is so beneficial. It's literally the one drink where you can say, okay, when I'm drinking this, I'm being kind to my body. So when you make your tea, when you stir the, the honey, when you stir the stevia, take your time be thankful for that tea, be thankful for the herbs that will nourish you, be thankful for whatever you want to get from that tea. Most of us drink tea for a particular reason. When you stir, when you're having green tea, think about it. This green tea is going to reduce my bloating. This herbal tea is going to be soothing on my body. When you take a shower, when the water falls on you, imagine it's removing and releasing all the negativity of the night before, of the day, whenever you're taking that shower, use water to cleanse you. That's what it is doing, not just physically, but also emotionally. But if you're having a bad day, let that water take all that negativity away. Be conscious and take cognizance of everything that you're doing. And during this lockdown, it's the perfect time to do it. You are not in a rush. We all have so much time. Why not, you know, relish every moment and I know it may be difficult especially if you're going through the lockdown on your own but if we look at this time in a negative light it will be negative if you look at it from a positive perspective it will be a positive experience if this is your first time being alone in your entire life where it's just you and you're so used to being surrounded by friends and family and now you're getting to spend time with you. It's a blessing. The longest relationship you'll ever have is the relationship you have with yourself. If you don't cultivate the relationship you have with yourself, you may end up self-sabotaging because you're so used to pleasing others and putting others' needs before yourself. Take this time to get to know yourself. What do you like? What don't you like? You may have been an extrovert before this time and when you come out of it, you'll be a completely different person. Not in a negative way, but because you would have made yourself your best friend. 
I just wanted to share these hints and tips that have helped me transform my life and I hope that it will do the same for you. Bye!